Yo, YouTube, my lovely Exonauts, how is it going, guys? Haven't seen you in a minute. You haven't seen me in a minute except with my podcast, which was three days ago. And that's a long-ass time not to post a video, so I'm posting this one. I was looking online on YouTube, you know, because that's what I do, and I saw some top five anime videos, and I want to put one up. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today to for you guys to get to know me just a little bit better. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. Stay tuned! Ow! I see you. I see you watching me. My top five anime of all time. This is going to be hard as hell because there are so many good ones. All right. Um. Wow. It took me a minute to do this list, and I might do it over later on, but. Let's go ahead, starting with number five I have on the list, Scribe, Ew. or s -cry -it. This is Scribe, right here. Um, now, I, I, I don't want to be seen as no fucking poser. I haven't seen it in a long time. I was sick as fuck when I watched it, which is why it's one of my favorite ones, because it got me out of school for a week, and it's been playing over and over on uh, TV. Uh, I only have volumes uh, uh, two and three, which is like the complete series. I mean, it's only 26 episodes, but it's an amazing fucking series. Um, you got this dude right here who has an incredible fucking arm. And I mean, shit, I, I'm not really giving a really good review. I feel really fucking like I wouldn't say posers. Like I kind of felt like I'm just throwing something in there, but I promise once I get volume one of this bad boy, I'll go ahead and do a review of it so you guys can actually, you know, know what I'm talking about or the reason why I like this. But I would highly, highly, highly recommend this anime right here. Number four, Hunter Hunter. And I know I just started picking up. I'm only on episode 15 or 16 where um, Gong, Gong, <laughs> Gong, he's actually... Um, Trying to attack um, that clown looking dude, man. I keep fucking forgetting his name. It's like Asuka or some shit like that. I think his name is Asuka. But I'll probably put an annotation in here somewhere saying his correct name. But Hunter Hunter is on um, my top or number four in my top five list because it really is a fucking good anime. So far, my favorite has to be um, Kilua. Uh, uh, Kilua. Kilua. Kiliwa, I think that's how you say his name. Kiliwa is like one of my favorite, and I haven't really gotten to all the characters, so those are the only people that I know. The oh so great cowboy bebop. The reason why I got this on my uh, top three right here is because of the, the fucking, the story, man. The stories in it are so captivating. It, it drew me in the instant that I saw it. First episode that I've ever seen with uh, Cowboy Bebop was when um, uh, Spike actually fought Vicious, and I was like, um, one of the last episodes, uh, disc six, and there was another another episode where Spike were, was fighting this big ass dude, and they were getting eggs and shit and some weird stuff. And then the second thing that actually just finalized the deal for me is when I actually seen the Cowboy Bebop movie, and I would love for him to please, please come out with it, like another movie. I'll be cool. Just come out with another movie. I will be fine. But this. This right here is a freaking gem. This is one of probably one of my best, one of my best uh, pieces to my collection by far. Dos. This was kind of hard, being that it is a mainstream anime, and I know there's probably some other ones. This is why I'll do like some updates for like my fav my top five favorite anime, so I can have like some different ones that may beat them but 
I am caught up to date with this series, and I'm pretty proud to say that um, it's Naruto. I read it in, back in the Shonen Jump days um, when they were fighting Zabuza and Haku, and that was shit. Those, 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 those chapters were real, man. Those chapters were vicious as hell. But the actual, the first episode that I've ever seen, and it actually made Rock Lee my favorite character, is when he fought Gara. Um, they actually had a um, a marathon on Cartoon Network for a while. It was like two hours straight. It would show four episodes, and it showed every single one up until Gar when Gara defeated Rock Lee. And that's when it kind. I'm not gonna say I really got full fledged into Naruto. Um, it actually took me to come out here and my girlfriend was really into Naruto and I started watching it then um, Trying to catch up and everything watch when they were kids and then I started watching, you know, Shippuden And now I'm finally caught up and I'm very happy that I am caught up with it because it's There's some people that are saying that it's kind of dropping down But I feel like if you don't really read the chapters and you just watch the anime You might get a better experience with it and that's just my own personal opinion but Naruto is, is, is the shiznits, man. If you guys know me, then you should already know what my all-time favorite is. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Now, I don't want to make a video just dedicated to Dragon Ball Z, but... What started this off for me, I can tell you, oh my goodness, every single episode. The very first episode that I've seen of Dragon Ball Z was the Frieza Saga, which will forever be my favorite saga of all time. I don't care what you say. You can like the Cell Saga, you can like the Boo Saga, you can tell me why all those sagas are better than Frieza Saga, but... You will not change my mind ever in life. I don't care who you are. The Frieza Saga has got to be, in my personal opinion, the best saga ever. And the reason being is because that was a saga that actually showed Goku's, not even Goku's true potential at the time, but it showed the true strength of a Saiyan. And then later on down the line, it started showing, you know, Super Saiyan 2, 3, 4, 5, um, not 5, but 4, <laughs> uh, the fucking fusion technique and all that stuff and then i will never forget you know watching episode after episode and then just getting to like the crazy points to where majin buu was first revealed when gohan first turned super saiyan 2 when you first saw super saiyan 3 goku and i just thought it was crazy because out in japan they already had experienced all these super saiyan 3s and 4s and we were just getting you know the the, the tip of the iceberg pretty much so once they part of it when it once it first came out here super saiyan 3 man i was so hyped i was like oh shit super saiyan 3 goku but dragon ball z is my number one it will always be num my number one in my heart as you can see i have all the bricks and now i'm collecting these bad boys right here but yes thank you so much for watching Sticking through all the nonsense of, uh, you know, me talking, rambling on about Dragon Ball Z. Uh, it was supposed to just be a top five. But that is my top five. Maybe in about a month or two, I'll go ahead and uh, do like another one. Kind of update it a little bit. Maybe I'll do a top ten to make it a little bit easier for me because this was hard as hell. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that uh, like button right there. It will help your boy out a bunch. Make sure you subscribe, you rate. Um, I just said that. Yo, this will be a tag video, and the person that I am going to tag is Jesus Diaz. And the reason why I pick you, mofo, is because I met your ass in person. So, I'm going to tag the next person that I know. So, you better do one after you see this video, bro.